today I'm doing a DIY turn your like winter clothes or like fall type clothes into summer clothes or like summer spring clothes because I don't know about you guys but I don't have that much money lying around and now that it is officially summer I have been wanting some summer clothes like tank tops and shorts because since it's hot weather you gotta you gotta dress for the weather, right? So if you guys would like to see how to turn your kind of winter fall clothes into summer spring clothes, just keep on watching and I hope you guys enjoy. But anyways, I'm really excited to show you guys this video, so let's get started! Alright, so what you will need for the first DIY is a sharpie, some scissors, some tape, and some jeans that you're not using anymore. So first you're just going to want to put on your jeans. And then I took the tape and I just decided to put it two horizontal finger lengths down from where I was going to cut my short length. And then I just took some scissors and cut that out. Now I just turned the shorts inside out and I'm just going to be folding them over until I reach the tape and then I'm just going to be taking my sewing machine and I'm using blue string as contrast or what is that called? It's not called string, it's called, is it called string? I don't know, whatever, the scientific word for whatever you put in a sewing machine. Okay, I'm getting caught up on that. And I'm just going to sew that over, make sure not to sew through both ends otherwise your shorts won't be able to put your legs through. And once that's done, then you have your shorts. It's super easy to turn jeans into shorts, and I think it looks really well made and really nice. So that's the first one. All right, and the second DIY, or kind of like, yeah, it's more of a DIY, is you're going to need a glue gun, a elastic band, scissors, and a lot of fabric. Now, first, may I just say that if you use a stretchy fabric, this whole process is way easier. I decided to use this fabric, and it kind of made the skirt look like a cardboard box a little bit, but honestly, if you use this technique with a more stretchy fabric, then it'd work a lot better. So I'm just taking this headband, because the headband fits around my waist. You can use any elastic that fits around your waist, and I'm just going to be gluing this over. Honestly, you could sew this for it to last longer or be better but to be honest the power kept turning off and I was scared I was gonna get stuck downstairs in the dark so I didn't do that but so I'm just gonna be gluing both sides to each other and just wrapping it around kind of like if you just watch the video it'll be more self-explanatory and then I'm just going to be cutting the length off so that it just hits the ground below my feet You don't know and now I'm just gluing the opening shut and honestly if you guys use this exact tactic with a stretchier material this will come out looking so much better. I almost didn't put this DIY in but then I thought if you use a different fabric it would just turn out so well so I decided to put this DIY in because I still do like it but with a stretchier fabric you would have a much easier time. What you will need for the next DIY is scissors and a sharpie and any shirts that you would like to turn into kind of tank tops. So first I put the first shirt on and then I went ahead and flipped it inside out. And then I decided to take the sharpie and just mark where I wanted to cut the arm sleeves off. I want you head in the clouds got the weight on my shoulder. And then I went ahead and cut the sleeves off like so. I got one less, one less problem. One less problem without you. 
without ya. I got one less problem without ya. I got one less problem without ya. I got one less, one less problem. And now I took my shirt and I went right where my belly button is and I just draw a dot and you should do this with it inside out so the dot doesn't show. And then I just took my scissors and I cut like individual strands up to the dot and I eventually went past the dot because I wanted it to look more fringy. I get a little bit of breathless, I shouldn't want it, but it's you who, who. And yeah, then I just cut individual strands and made them thinner and thinner and then I just went ahead and cut off the pink ends because I thought it looked better without them. Money betting I'll be better off without you In no time I'll be forgetting all about you You're saying that you know but I really really doubt you Understand my life is easy when I ain't around you Iggy Iggy too biggy to be his cousin I'm, I'm thinking, thinking I love the body you more than I love your cousins And the best thing now is probably for you to exit I let you go let you back I finally learned my lesson No half stepping either you want it or you just playing I'm listening to you know so that is the first idea for cutting your shirt. I got 99. Now for the second idea, I just cut off the sleeves of this other navy shirt, and then I just had this boxy t-shirt, or this boxy tank top should I say, and I just went ahead and freehanded this cut, and it kind of just like has these two arced ways up to the center of your back, and a little bit higher than the center of your back, and I just cut this out like so. And that's the last DIY. It's super, super simple and you can show off your bralette or bandeaus and I just think it looks super cute and it makes it a really summery, flowy shirt. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Okay, bye!